There we go. Hello, friends. Uh, let's see. That's not what I want. Interesting. There we go. There, there we go. All right. So, when last we left off, we had just come back to Twinley Town, finally talked to the professor, and now we should be able to move on toward our eighth gym badge. Easier to drop south from Veilstone. And poor sweet Garuda goes back in the box. Oh, yeah, we can do a battle. At some point, I should actually make a note of like which Pokemon centers have the daily battles in them, but eh. Come back here, Kara. Alright, let's do a battle. We'll thoroughly check out your abilities as a trainer. And if I remember right, these guys should scale up to my level. They surely do! Okay. Not the worst matchup. Could have probably just gone for an energy ball there, but this is fine. Ooh, so close. Not expecting it to actually do that much. Mm. Oh, okay. Wow, that did nothing. That did more than the earthquake did. Well, of course it critted. God damn it, Estinian. There we go. Uh, this dragon just cannot stay alive. bit fragile. He really is floor tanking. Eventually he'll power up it into final Nidhogg form, but that's taking a while. He may hit Dragonite before the Elite Four. We'll see. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, yes. The alien cricket. Good, he managed to one shot the cricket half his level. Safeguard, no thank you. It's okay. Okay, now we should be able. Hey! The dude is gone. What do you mean there's no hidden item up here? Boo! We are up here though. Oh right, new route, I think. I think it counts as a new route. I will check here in a moment. No, I'm still... Yeah, it's a new route. So a mantine, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally a new route. So we can catch a mantine. Oh, round friend. There we go. I'm like, there's these very obvious paths through the trees. There's got to be something hidden back here. Nope, just that, apparently. Okay. Okay. I was afraid that was one of those that scaled to previous damage dealt. But luckily not. Oh! Oh, I love Teddy Ursa. need to escape these doldrums. You can keep me company. In your doldrums or in escaping them?
we're so close. What? I mean, I guess he is a rich boy. Rude. And rest? Goodness. Okay, this shuckle's annoying. I swear to God, if he takes out Astinian with rap alone. Still asleep. Good. There we go. Ooh, berries. So we've got the land route, the beach route, and the water route. So I guess let's go top to bottom. After enjoying a meal at the hotel restaurant, one has a battle. That's the social etiquette. Is it? Oh, I love Lumenian. So pretty. Oh, oh. <gasps> Cuba coffee. Cuba Thank coffee. you. Please tip your moogle. That's not a tip. Yes, I know, but I need it. <laughs> Fluff ruffle. Thank you. You're welcome. I love getting Cuba coffee. Stinian can hold together when he wants to. Sometimes. Oh, item ball. Do not jump off the cliff. Fairy. Can't explain it. Get more easily agitated at night. Ah, this is one of the dudes that will only fight you at night. Oh, I see. That's what the upper upper path is for. And suspicious empty place in the grass. Big mushroom! Excellent. Oh my.
Okay, good. There we go. See, a stinian can totally hold together when he wants to. Ooh, goodness. I don't remember if I have it set where we can find legendaries in the wild or not. Um, but we're kind of starting to get to the level where it's gonna become a thing. Okay, agility's fine. You're faster than me anyway. Hey, Kara. Diligent delivery Google becomes one with the couch. Seems right. <gasps> Matchup race. Eventually, we'll find the leftovers. And then Kara will be really OP. Eventually. The only items you ever throw are Pokeballs. But is that true? I want people to think about that. No fling. That's why I give away the technical machine. Fling. Oh, Yelk has resubscribed. For three months, bleep boop Pokemons. Hello! Please tell me you're icing your wrist. Using that move, the Pokemon hurls whatever item it's holding at the foe. The move's effect depends on what item is hurled. Remember, the move fling fails if the Pokemon isn't holding anything. Thank you, Kara. Doing the Lord's work. Wrapped in gauze is not icing. I hope. If you have icy gauze, you might be doing it wrong. Let's see, what is 56? Rock Wrecker, okay. Interesting. Look, look at my Pokemon! It's really cool! I bet it is, kiddo. Oh no, you booped the brain cell? Oh no, our delicate brain cell! It's so small and squidgy! I... Oh, and Yelks gifted us here one sub, sub to uh, Kara. Thank you! appreciated. It's so sweet. <laughs> he booped you in the brain cell with a sub. It's a pretty big boop. Ooh, Donbury sounds so good. Enjoy that. Let the healing power of the Donbury flow through you. Oh, ride upon the sea in a boat, just you and me. That's the way of the sailor. Way of the sailor. Sing it! I'm not good at sea shanties. Execute. We have one of those. Uh, 
Uh oh. Solar beam? Yup. Well, let's see if we can take it out in one. Ah. Okay, burn is good. Also, he should survive this. Okay. Oh, silly Kara. Miller doesn't have thumbs. He would make the blanket helpfully much warmer by adding a whole ton of fur to it, though. It would be such a warm blanket. A warm, warm, wiry blanket. My dream's a big one. I want to battle every kind of Pokemon from around the world. I can help you with that. Spoilers, the blanket is made out of Miller. I don't think that's a spoiler, Yalk. Not for anyone that's had a dog before. Or a cat, for that matter. Uh... Fun fact, there's legitimately Sasha fur in my desert bus present, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's definitely straight pet hairs in the resin. Uh, I mean, they're floating through the air. You, you can't. There's no way. Definitely contains pet hair. Yeah. Even just when I'm crocheting, it's just like, well... That's a lot of Sasha that's getting worked into this blanket. Alrighty then. I should have switched Pokemon there. But this is fine. Got so excited he covered the entire freshly cleaned floor. And yeah, that sounds like a German Shepherd. Most dogs, when they get excited, they just wag their tails. Shepherds, when they get excited, will actively shed. Angel used to do it, too. They do it on purpose, I swear. Look, look, look how much I love you. Let me let me send some some of myself home with you. Like I think I told you I was living in Japan for four months and still finding angel hair. Cause it was just like woven into all of my clothes and my suitcase. So even after not seeing her in four and a half months, I would still just find her hair. Shepherd glitter, oh my god, you're not wrong, is the thing. You are not wrong. Eh, I don't think I need to heal quite yet. Let us circle back. Ooh, we have houses. Pokemon size contest. Oh, is this the Magikarp dude? Oh, right, Remoraid. Well... I think it changes daily, but I do not have any Remoraid. When I first started fishing, catching anything made me happy. But those days are long gone now. Now I get annoyed if I can't beat my record by even an inch. My dude, have you perhaps heard of shiny Pokemon? Very. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, item. Okay. The stitching intensifies. Oh no. How do you even?
Also, I know what I'm going to do to crochet a board game. Ah, oh, we can catch this. I just, I had way too much I had to get done yesterday. So I will stitch a board game next Tuesday during my variable stream. Um... Oh, it's a flying type. I always forget that Mantine is part flying. Aha, uh -huh, not a one shot. Excellent. If I remember right, the catch rate is somewhat low, though. Yeah. was not a stream yesterday, no. I, uh, had too much to do. My sister-in-law's baby shower is this weekend, so I needed to get her gift wrapped up and shipped out. Uh, unfortunately, I still don't think it's gonna get there in time. Oh, interesting. Um... And then I had to do the actual, I had to do the actual finishing up with, uh, with my DB charms, which they are done now. So fingers crossed the weather tomorrow is nice enough that I can get real good pictures. Uh, and then they'll be ready to go out. So yeah, I'll do your, I'll do your crochet a board game request next Tuesday since there was no stream last night. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to end up making this one faint too, but that's okay. Unless I hit myself. Nope. That's okay. XP is good. So close. Very rare berry indeed. Now that you're eating, you're back up to full HP? Probably yes. Or probably very close to. Please just be careful. 
Your wrists are delicate and important. I do not think we've heard about the time you hit your kneecap with a sledgehammer. Oh dear. That sounds slightly less than pleasant. Oh no. Did I forget a rival battle here? Yo, fellow trainer! Your Pokémon are secure inside their Pokéballs, but there's no masking that aura of serious toughness. Oops, sorry. I should introduce myself. Name is Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. I just had this idea. Maybe you can pull it off. It's about this town's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately because there have been so few good challengers worth his time. He's been so bored, he spends all his time renovating the gym. Then the blackout happened? That sure didn't help lift his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. I mean, I'll try. once dreamed of becoming a gym leader, but that dream never came true. I'd have to live with Pokemon all this time. It's been a blessed life. Aw, nice old man. Ah, oh, you're really cool. You have seven gym badges. All you need is one more to challenge the Pokemon League. Yeah, I know. Thank you, though, kid. Okay, let's be smart and do a save. Adi is a temple to a god long forgotten. Oh my god. Yalk, no. Although that is a badass quote. Or a badass statement, I suppose. <laughs> really expected to go until I took an arrow in the knee. I was gonna be a gym leader. And then I took an arrow to the knee. The city uses a lot of electricity, especially the lighthouse and the gym. The, they finally decided to turn all the city's roads into giant solar panels. Sunny Shore is the sunshine city, so the system works perfectly. Nothing's a perfect system, honey. This is a major port town, and it's the gateway to the Pokemon League. Well, that's true. Okay, but we've still got a little bit more of this route to explore. Let's go to the beach. Oh, is this the footprint dude? No, we already found- oh my! We already found the footprint dude. Hee hee hee, I'm going for the po Pokemon Championship with only Pikachu! I mean, that's possibly viable. It would be so funny if one of these was just like a Pikachu doll sitting in the corner, but they're all moving, so. Listen, listen, can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? Sure thing, kiddo. Aww, a baby.
My body is a temple, but I am the god to whom it is devoted. Do not presume to tell me how to decorate my altar. I like that one. That's good. Killed itself to recoil. There's always something a little sad about that. Okay. Fish. If I stare at the water's surface for too long, I begin to forget what I was doing in the first place. I force nothing. I make the request and then the Pokemon uses the move. If it wants to. They could disobey me. They choose not to. Ooh, right. Rock type. Let us then sweetly kiss the tentacle monster. And then get Lahabra to do the dirty work. I know what I said. Junior. Do we have to? Hey Dobby, good evening. How are you? Let's just not. Good girl, Moon Britta. Akron? This will work. Oh no! Dobby, go to bed! There's a monster inside all of us, except for her. Hers is on the outside. It's intimidating. <laughs> yeah, it seems right. Okay, more fish. Well, I am fishing, but very well. I accept your challenge. Oh no. Yeah, morning classes are rough. I think the earliest I ever had was a couple 8 a.m.s. But yeah, I used to try really hard to deliberately schedule nothing before like 10. Oh, you don't? Ooh. I know when I was in the university that I went to, if there were multiple sessions of a class, like if the class was being held, because um, we did, I think they call it block scheduling, where we had some classes would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday for like an hour and a half or an hour and 45 minutes. And then some classes were Tuesday, Thursday for like two and a half hours. So most of the time, if there were multiple sessions of a class, like if the class was offered, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m., Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m., and then Tuesday, Thursday at 11, as long as they weren't full, you could pick which one you wanted and kind of fit it around with your other classes. If there was only one session of a class, then obviously that was the one you had to take. Um, 
very fondly remember there was one term where I ended up with all of my classes Tuesdays and Thursdays. So like I was in class for like eight hours straight on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but then I had Monday, Wednesday, Friday completely clear. It was really nice. Um, it's a magic harp. It's not like it's going to give XP. <laughs> it did one damage. Oh, Magikarp. Okay. More fish. Oh, she's still in the green. Getting bored of fishing. Let's have a quick battle. Sure. I'm down for that. Oh, four Pokemon. Oh, there we go. That works. Fish for dinner? Yummy. What kind of fish? Trout? Salmon? Now that you have mentioned it, I do remember seeing a cut of fish in the fridge and I did not, not make note of what kind of fish it was. Fish sounds yummy. E. A Gengar. Yeah, I think I might switch Pokemon. The fishy kind? Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna guess it's the kind of fish that comes from water. Fried cod over homemade creamed corn. Sounds delightful. I like anything involving corn. Another fisherman. Hi, traveler. Would you like to battle? I don't, we don't really get much perch up here, do we? Most of what we can get for a reasonable price locally is usually salmon and trout. Which coincidentally are my two favorite fish. Trout especially. I love a good rainbow trout. Salmon is better for sushi. Like if I'm going to have sushi, oh, I, I will eat an entire plate of salmon sushi. But if it's going to be like cooked or baked or flat fried or whatever, I tend to prefer trout. Gold duck, huh? Mm -hmm. 
trying to think. I don't know that I've ever... I must have had perch at some point. But I don't really remember. My mom always loved tilapia for whatever reason. So that's usually what we would get if we were having fish when I still lived at home. Or catfish. Never really had perch. See, I actually don't like smoked salmon at all. Um, it's something about the texture of it. Once it's smoked, I just can't get around it. It tastes fine. It's just something about it being fish jerky that I just can't. Lake perch or walleye? Walleye's another one that I've never really... Yeah, I've never really done walleye. Perch isn't too readily available here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I don't even, like, I don't even think I see it in stores all that regularly. It's mostly cod from the Atlantic. Salmon, trout, or um, bass sometimes. Oh, okay, that's it. Or haddock. There's a lot of haddock around here. Again, I think that's an Atlantic fish. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Salmon, you, you get a filet that's like that thick. And then you throw it on a baking sheet with tin foil and a bunch of soy sauce. Uh, and if that's getting dry, then you're Probably cooking it way too long would be my guess. Yeah, dry salmon is never the problem we have. Ooh, many people. The underground manatee Turna and Byron of Cantilever are related. And by at Byron's son Rorik, and you have a trio of dedicated figures. Not just soy sauce. Fine, soy sauce and maple syrup. Some underground traps need to be diffused by touch or by using the microphone. Oh right, this is one of the underground people. Have you gone underground lately? Depending on where you go down, you end up in different places. That's why I use my explorer kit in as many places as I can. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, salmon in restaurants is really hit or miss. The spheres found in the underground tunnels are like gems. You can obtain goodies by trading the spheres away. Is this all just going to be underground info? If you bury spheres, they grow a little every day. They're really weird that way. Oh, right. I better dig mine up. Say, I forgot I had some buried. No. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's true. Overcooked salmon is terrible. Ooh, yes. Dill and lemon on salmon is lovely. Go underground and have fun down there. Make it an adventure. Get flags from your friends to make your secret base better. Try to hide your secret base and get good at discovering your friends' bases. Okay. Is this the... What is this? Oh, the market. Oh, you're wiggly tough. Needs to work a little harder, right? The EV person. See the seal merchant there? Doesn't have any seals I wanted. Maybe tomorrow, I guess. Sunny Shore Market is best known for its big selection of seals. I love tap toys. Plaza games are great, too. I'm a huge fan of the Wi-Fi Plaza, so I'm promoting it on my own. Uh, the Wi-Fi Plaza that shut down like 10 years ago. Ah, oh, please, allow me a little of your time, if you will. You won't regret it. Welcome, what do you need? Ah, I see. Pokeball stickers.
Whatever the environment, people and Pokemon adapt to live there. It's what we all do to survive. Give Kara a seal. Oh, hey! Right, I forgot we found her here. I don't think, I think in regular Diamond Pro Platinum, the seals are only for, um, like only used in contests. I don't think I actually get to. Yeah, I don't, unless I'm missing something. I don't think I get to do it just regularly. I think it's only for contests. Ooh, teriyaki salmon is also delicious. Hi, Jasmine. This city makes me feel at home somehow. It's next to the sea and there's a lighthouse. Oh, if you don't have the gym badge, you'll be forced to turn back. Oh, right, the Pokemon leaks up that way. Well, I will head that way in a moment then. Okay, that's the stairs up to the road. Oh, having to apply them at the PC? Yeah, that's possible. That might be why I missed it. Let's see here. For a second, when you said give Kara a seal, I just imagined her carrying around a little plush seal, like S-E-E-L, and that would be precious. Yelk found you a seal. Is it my item? Oh, it is my item. My item PC. That would be why I missed it. Good lord. Okay, well, I don't have a ton of seals. We're only seven eighths of the way through this game. This is fine. we go upstairs. I mean, having a solar panel walkway like this is a fantastic idea. I do not think this is strong enough. The gym leader uses up too much electricity. He needs to think about the city's power needs too. Mr. Lighthouse. Do I actually get to do things in the lighthouse? Oh, there's an elevator in the lighthouse. That's nice. Oh, I found the gym leader. 
Right, he's an emo kid. Or a broody kid, anyway. So, you're the latest challenger up against the Sunny Shore Gym. Alright, I've decided. If I find you to be weak, I'm going to challenge the Pokemon League. I'm all done with renovating the gym, so I don't need to be here. More than anything, I want to have battles that can thrill me again. As the toughest gym leader in Sino, I'm going to unleash everything in my arsenal on you. Edgy. That's the word I wanted. He's an edgy kid. I love how far away you can see with the binoculars. I'm going to go that far away with my Pokemon one day. The Vista Lighthouse represents safety and protection to us sailors. Oh, I get to actually look through the binoculars. Neat! There's the Pokemon League. Nifty. Hello? That giant rock. Isn't it really a Pokemon? What? Ancient fossilized munchlax. Concerns. Ooh! An antidote. Well, that might be useful. I'm gonna go bother the hermit that lives up here. That glaringly bright and cool thing you have! It's undoubtedly a Poketch! The latest model, no less! They're awesome, yeah? I got okayed by the Poketch company to develop original Poketch apps. Hey, you're a trainer, right? Ooh, Herb! to let me type. There we go. Can you do me a favor? You've got Pokemon with different natures, right? May I see them? What am I in the mood to see now? I'd like to see a Pokemon with a serious nature. Do I have any of those on me? Kara is quiet. Allegedly. Mahabrea is also quiet. Allegedly. Asahi is bold. That tracks. Estinian is rash. Yeah, that tracks. Moonbird is modest. Teleji is sassy. Oh lord. Thou must needs procure them to the last. Hey, Julie. Yalk, no! Ice it! Ice your damn wrist! Here's a novel idea. If you ice it, it probably will stop hurting. Oh, more houses. I'd heard that Team Galactic was up to no good, but here in Sunny Shore we've never seen any of them around. Of course, our gym leader Volkner is invincible in every way. Why do you old people live up so many stairs? A long time ago, there was a boy named Cyrus who lived here, oh dear. He seemed to shun others and he preferred the company of machines. He was a brilliant student, I recall. I often wonder what became of him. Uh, you want some stories, Granny? Julia's house. Delightful ribbons for Pokemon. Oh, hello. You're quite the nifty trainer. My husband is a sailor and he's off working somewhere far away. Yeah, Cyrus is evil now. He's the dude that tried to destroy the world because it wasn't perfect and so it might as well not exist. 
Uh, it's okay. We kicked his ass. I'm sure it's fine. I long for the day he comes back to me. All that waiting gets me very boring every day, though. I know. How about you visit me and tell me stories every so often? Okay, Chloe. Starting tomorrow, please visit and tell me stories about your travels. Okay. Where's the gym? Oh, look, I found the gym. Uh, yeah, no, let's, uh, let's do the thing. Let's do a challenge and probably get our butts kicked. Come on, Yao, you know Kara speaks the truth. Don't be a cat about it. Yo, Haya, he's finally come back. He seemed to be feeling upbeat too. I have a hunch that he recognized your toughness right away. Bet he's getting excited over the thought of battling you. Remember what you have to do, Hotshot. Give him a battle that's so hot it will reignite his passion for battling. All right, Hotshot, I'll be waiting at the Pokemon League. Okay. Oh, right, this. All right, let's do a save. And all the gym types have been randomized as a reminder, so I have no idea what we're facing. Let's see here. Oh, right. This is how this works. I don't... I remember this puzzle not being horrible. Hmm. Oh, right. There we go. Alright, what have we got? Can you make it to the gym leader? You sure now? Oh, please don't be terrible. Okay, so we are looking at fire or fighting. I mean, either one... We can make either one work. Fire ting. Oh, Kara has redeemed a stretch and a hydrate. With the call for hydrating, I'm just imagining Yalk angrily munching on his ice. Oh, and cookies for the off-screen baby. Excellent. Everybody else should also do a stretch and a hydrate. Oh, that's rude. Like to redeem a scritch? I mean, I could add that one. The problem is she's not always around while I'm streaming. But I suppose I could rack up scritches to be paid out at a later hour. Oh my. That was a nasty hit. Let us retreat tactfully. Yeah, you, you are always and forever the mom friend, Kara. Okay, so, fire or fighting? Um, I 
And Stinian should not be weak to either of those things. Oh, right. Okay, well, let's take care of this trainer. Maybe he can clear up whether it's fire or fighting. I want to win. That desire I pour into my guitar. I want to win. That passion compels my Pokemon. It is fighting. That's all right. We can do this. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, a Machoke. Yes, if it exactly. If it's cold, the ice is working. Can and should put a tea towel between your skin and the ice. I was always told that ice directly on your skin is not good. Um, because that can actually frostbite the skin, especially if it's already damaged. In a cloth bag? Okay, you're probably fine then. I mean, yeah, I was actually also kind of just making the assumption that Yalka's first aid certified, considering all of the woodworking tools and assorted other paraphernalia that can go wrong in shops. Oh, dang. Yalka's more first aid than me. Got it. I am technically first aid certified, but have thankfully never actually had to use it. Wait, no, that's a lie. I had to use it once. Twice, actually if we count the time Kara nearly fell into the ocean. Oh gosh, yeah, you've mentioned Julie. I mean, if you've been teaching for a while in a shop, I'm sure that's the kind of thing you just rack up. Okay. So now our bridge is down. I did. We were on our honeymoon. I kind of wanted to keep my wife around for a little bit longer. Besides, the starfish looked vicious. Yeah, no, have you, have you not heard me tell the story of the time Kara sprained her ankle on our honeymoon and I had to piggyback her up out of the galleries on Gabriola Island? There is a Pikachu up there. <laughs> Fraught with danger is certainly a word, a, uh, a phrasing for it. Hey Rin, good afternoon. Good evening. Good evening. It is after seven. Oh no, this Pikachu wants to battle. Look at the way I'm dressed. Can't you see that I'm hardcore? Aww. Hardcore adorable. Aww. So cute. Fraught with danger indeed. I will never forget the look on Ash's face as Kara hopped out of the car and sort of hobbled toward her going, Deb, I need healing! And Ash was just, what did you do? Blacksmith with the YouTube channel talked about an exec coming into his shop once, ignoring all the safety warning. Oh no! Asking, is this sharp as he slid? Oh no! Oh! 
Oh, that's horrible. That poor blacksmith. Oof. Uh... Let's do this. Keep your executives leashed at all times, absolutely. How did they have time to do other stuff while bleeding out? Good question. Croagunk. Uh, this is fine. this way so I can get a feel for how electric Pokemon think. Would you like to try too? Sure. Can I please have a Pikachu hoodie? That would be so rad. Okay. Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist, it takes dedication to improve your mad skills. Sure. Sure does. Yeah, has has the store did you ever Oh no. I was gonna ask, did you ever find out if that was just Canada or if that was company wide? Oh god. Oh dear. You're still finding issues. Of course you are, because you can't reboot systems that way. Oh no. I'm so happy I don't work there anymore. But also, I'm so sorry. Okay. Button. Step on the button. At least these puzzles are fairly straightforward. I'm not just looking for tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here because I want to feel the rush. Ooh, a Gallade. Dang. Okay. Those are speedy. Let's try to paralyze it. it doesn't one shot me. God damn it, Estinian. Ah. Uh, it is not a fairy type yet, it is just fighting psychic. There we go. Poison powder and leech seed together seems a little bit like cheating. And I do not care. Go. 
Ooh. Leaf Storm is good. Okay. Special. 130 power, 90 accuracy. But it will reduce my special attack stat. Whereas Energy Ball is 90. Base power 90, but accuracy of 100. I think I'll stay with Energy Ball. So it's got more PP too. Yes. Hitmonlee, huh? <laughs> I really should play more Path of Exile. I just, I prefer playing it on console, and anytime I have the time to actually sit down and play a console game, I end up playing Final Fantasy XIV. Maybe someday I'll pick up more Path of Exile. Ha, take that. I enjoy Path of Exile. Like, I love what bit of it I've played. I just don't have a lot of time for consoles. Yeah, too many games, not enough hours. Exactly. Okay, so now we go over the bridge. Aha! Spark! That's what our gym leader did to the gym out of boredom. <laughs> he sure did. A non-Blizzard alternative to replace Diablo 3? Yeah. Yeah, that's totally fair. the one remaining benefit if you want to call it that of Diablo 3 for me is that it's on Switch because that I will just sit down and play wherever instead of like I don't know my brain works weirdly like because I can use the Switch in handheld mode while also multitasking like I can have something on the TV or I can have my laptop up and just kind of pick up the Switch and put it down that's different to my brain somehow than sitting down with the PS4. Because like when I have the game up on the TV screen and I have the controller in my hands, I feel like I have to dedicate it, dedicate all my focus to it. Um, yeah, no, I D Diablo 3 on Switch is a large weakness of mine. I bought it specifically so that I could play Diablo 3 in bed. And also, like, on the go and shit. It's very nice. And there's a treasure goblin amiibo. Who is precious. I love him. D3 in bed is highly compelling. Chase loot while comf. Goddamn Metacham. Uh, problems upon problems. Oh yeah, you because you do you not have a console, Julie? Are you just exclusively a uh, PC player? I don't remember.
Good grief, this Metacham. There we go. Ah, GameCube, a PS2, and an NES. Nice. There is a part of me that kind of wants to get a used N64, except there's no way it would ever hook up to any of the TVs we own. Okay, now I have to backtrack if I want to heal. That is the mildly annoying thing about this gym. The NES was your grandparents? Okay, I have to know. Was it your grandparents in the sense that your grandparents were playing it? Or in the sense that your grandparents bought it so that the grandkids would have something to do when they came over. Because I could actually see it going either way. Oh, they played it. That's awesome. You can get composite to HDMI converters? Oh, I didn't actually know that. Hmm. I might have to look into that. Although... <laughs> The one time that we hooked up our PS2 to our giant 50-inch high-def 4K screen, I nearly cried. Because uh, the graphics, like, the, the, the pixelation was real. The artifacting was intense. I just wanted to play Monica Mia. And I couldn't. I, like, I couldn't get over the graphics. It ran fine, but the graphics. Oh, so your grandmother was you, Julie. Although presumably without the chain smoking. Oh, right. I need to go. I need to do this thing. GameCube and a PS... Oh, and a 6-inch LCD. Oh my god, that does sound amazing. God, yeah, I can't get over how horrific the PS2 graphics were on our giant 4K screen. It was really sad. Okay, there we go. Bridge is down. There we go. Okay. My earliest video game memories are of going over to my friend's house and playing Mario on her SNES. I was not good at Mario, but I enjoyed just playing because at that age, having a video game at all was just a cool novelty. Oh, I see. It's electrified. There we go. No, it's not right either. Um. Um. That must be right. Oh, haha, I can go under it. Okay. Wow, I'm surprised you've come this far, but you'll have to turn back. There isn't any chance there isn't any chance that you could ever beat me. We'll see. Oh man. If we're talking old P or uh, old PC gaming memories, I remember playing Warcraft 2 or possibly Warcraft 3 on DOS because my dad had it and I would sit and watch him play it and then one day I was like daddy I want to try to do my own like my own colony thing uh good grief Estinian can you please 
just survive like one hit. Okay, to be fair, he did survive that one hit. Oh my god. There we go. Um, but yeah, I distinctly remember playing like, it was either Warcraft 2 or 3, and I didn't necessarily want to like fight and do the battles and campaigns, but I wanted to be able to build my city and like make village good. So I have always been a farming sim person, apparently. Those are still the kind of games I love best. Oh, Sasha, baby. Oh no. Yep. Damn it. I'm gonna have to run back and heal again. Stupid hair across eye. Warcraft 3. Yeah, I think it was Warcraft 3. It's totally just SimCity. It's definitely just like Orcish SimCity. It's fine. I also remember I used to always want to play as the orcs because I thought they had the cooler building designs. Was 3 on DOS? I don't... Because our computer was Windows, but I remember it had to boot in like the DOS screen to be able to then launch the game. It was either 2 or 3. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, now where do I go? I guess I keep... Oh, I probably keep rotating things, but I need to go back and heal again. <laughs> Unleash every disaster at once. Yes. There were boats. I remember there were boats. Because, like, the orcish boat, the, the human boats were blue and had, like, the pointy corsair sails. And then the orcish boats had, like, skulls on them. And I thought that was awesome. And they could carry troops in them. So you could, like, sneak around behind enemy lines and then just drop, like, six soldiers on them. Oil harvesting? I think so. Yes. Yes, because there were little, like, black patches in the water and you could build an oil rig on it. Which I remember even as, like, a kid. Okay, so it was Warcraft 2. I remember, like, even as a kid, I was squinting, being like, aren't oil derricks a lot more... Or aren't oil rigs a lot more advanced than this? And my dad basically being like, shh, it's fantasy. <laughs> I'm like, shouldn't they not have oil rigs? And he was like, but they have magic. And I was like, okay, fair. Man, now I want to go play Warcraft 2. If it wasn't a Blizzard game, although it's probably on the Internet Archive somewhere. Right, this is the one where I need to go off of that and go over here. Someday I'll remember how all these puzzles work. No. Bringing a sad creature. Oh no, that won't work. It's not gonna stay. Oh. Damn. Are you sad? Are you sad and lonely? The saddest and the loneliest in the entire world. Mm -hmm. 
leave her snoot alone. That's such a cute snoot. Baby. Alright, down you go. There we go. Thunk. Her thunk. It is so hard to be a cat. Just hardship upon hardship. not helpful. Also not helpful. No. No. Is it over here after all? It, no, it shouldn't be. the bridges on this side are going the wrong way. So it's gotta be... You lie down in the sun and it moves? I know that's the worst. from the blue gear. So those are both leap into the void. Nope, because that's, I guess it's like a fence. And that's leap into the void. Does these all do quarter turns? I feel like it's something to do because then the red ones down here do half turns. So I wonder if it's. And then I go back. Oh, I bet that's it. And then I go back up. And they're in a slightly. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Because the red buttons do a full half turn. Okay, so we'll do a save. Thank you, Rin. For the hint slash help. Uh, okay, before we go in and face Volkner and probably get our butts handed to us, um, I did want to do a shout out. I'm helping to raise money um, a very dear friend of mine has had his top surgery. Um, he's recovering really, really well. Uh, and he's so happy. Like I was talking to him yesterday. It's amazing. Um, but he still has a GoFundMe open to help pay off the associated medical bills. Um, so if you're willing to go and take a look, donate, even just pass on the word, we really, really appreciate it. Um, there's artists that are offering commissions in exchange for donations, some really fabulous artists in there. Um, and we're also working on a zine, uh, that all of the proceeds for it are going to go to his fund. And I am in the zine as well. Uh, it is a Dudoir Final Fantasy 14 zine. So like really gorgeous guys. Like, I'm not kidding. Some of the concept art that I'm seeing in the discord. Uh, I'm not even into guys and it's incredible. I'm in it. Uh, I am not an, a visual artist. I am writing a fanfic for it, um, which I might tease a little bit more in the coming months, but I am in fact in the zine. Um, so yeah, it's going to be real, real good. 
Um, so yeah, that's that. I see that Dobby has redeemed a board games on me, which I will do momentarily. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show off, let me switch screens so I can actually see what my camera looks like here. Uh, and I chose this one just kind of randomly to show off, but I have a charm. So that's a, that's a, let's see if I can manage to not get the glare on it. Um, but this is my Desert Bus Flareon charm. So there will be an entire set of evolutions. They're done. I am taking photographs of them tomorrow, hopefully if the light is nice. And then I'll be shipping them off to, uh, to Erica. So those will be up at Desert Bus this year. So yeah, they're, they're done and I am stoked. They turned out so nice. Uh, I think the Jolteon one is cursed. Uh, cause I had to redo it twice, but they look so fabulous. I'm really, really pleased with them. Okay. Should I get my butt kicked by Volkner first or should I go do board games first? I guess Dobby did pay in channel points. Uh, let's see here. That's not what I want. I want that one. And... Are you good, VGA? No. Yeah, there we go. There it is. It's alive! So for those of you that don't know, one of my channel points, Redemptions, is to make me go and play my open board games. So I'm gonna go play my open board games if it decides to ever fully load. You okay, BGA? BGA is thinking about it. Go write that. I also found out today that one of my coworkers, uh, who's right about my age, also knows how to play cribbage. Um, because apparently she and her grandmother would play it all the time. Uh, so we might get together for like dinner and cribbage at some point, because we're both old ladies at heart. Uh, to my crib? Oh, well. Probably still those, though. Okay, next. Hmm, pardon me. The Kuma Koi Koi. I'm loving the dramatic gym background music for board games. Let's do Willows. Ooh, and a free sucker ribbon. I'll take it. Next. Cribbage is fun. I only learned, like two weeks ago um because i kept seeing kite make boards for it and i was like that looks kind of interesting i'd like to learn how to play cribbage uh, so kite taught me and now i'm kind of obsessed with it and i've got like five games going uh yes water there we go confirm my parents were never big on cards but my best friend and I in university used to play rummy all the time like we would sit and have like five hour games of rummy with like a movie on in the background oh, okay this is one of our cooperative games which uh, it would not do for other people to accidentally spoil themselves. So Kite very courteously made me, or made us, I guess, Kite uses it too, um, made a browser extension to blur out the cooperative games. Um, I only kind of know what I'm doing with this one so far. I've read the rules like twice and still don't quite get it, but... Yeah, sure, let's gain the resources. Oh, I see. I think I could have... Hmm. I 
I'm not sure I understand how this game is played, but... Okay, yes, so... I can choose to build a thing instead. Or I can just gain the resources. I think I need to just gain these resources. Yeah, because Kite was doing some board game streams too. And there's a couple cooperative games that are specifically like, you're not supposed to communicate. Like part of the challenge of the game is trying to, is only seeing your own hand and trying to work stuff out cooperatively without communicating it. Um, but since all of us that play the board games are also the ones most likely to tune in to watch the board games, um, it makes it less fun if you accidentally get spoiled for one of those. So yeah, Kite just pretty much on a whim built a browser extension uh, to blur out very specific cooperative games. Because they're amazing. And then they packaged it and made it available for me to use too because they know that I do this. Uh, okay, what do I want here? I want K and P if it's available. Oh, there's the P. Take it. Confirm. Oh, and it's a second train. Excellent. Uh, oh, and there's the N. Yay, bonus points. Okay, next. Uh, oh, Kitsune Koi Koi. I also have like five games of this going. Because fun. Uh, yeah, it's probably my best bet. Cribbage. Kitsune Cribbage. Uh, let's start with that one. Next. More Koi Koi. Uh, ooh, yes please. I will take all three of those. I love when that happens. Next. Ooh, lucky numbers. This is a good one. Take that, and let's just, yeah, we'll fling it there. Next. Ooh, yes, railways. Which one? Oh, the Canadian one. Ooh. Uh, so many mountains. Just so, so many mountains. Deliver good. Put that there. Complete. Cool. Next. Good old Canadia. Yeah. Uh, ooh, wizard game. I only bet six on this. Oh, because they also be bet six and seven. Ah. Uh, Actually, yes, take the queen or I'm going to end up winning more than I bid. Okay, next. King Domino. I feel like I just saw this game. No, it was the other game. Ooh, how do I want to... Do not have a Yahtzee. I have three of a kind though. I'll take that without any rerolls. Well, I probably should have rerolled to see if I could get a, a Yahtzee, but that's okay. I'll take the three of a kind. Uh, 
um, to Kaido. I only have three coins. Let's take a Vista instead. Yes, my rando game. Aha! Take that. Oh, I think I might have underbid on this one too. We'll see. Next. Ah, uh, the crew. Okay, so Zersion is set to win this one. That's fine. Okay, next. You okay, BGA? You awake, BGA? Maybe it's awake. Just casually click the refresh button. There we go. Okay. It hung up on the scoring phase. Aha! I'm up two games to one. Uh, two cards for Kite's crib, huh? Well, nine and six is fifteen. Plus a pair is four points. Makes most sense to discard these. Next. Oh yes, seasons. We're still in our drafting phase. Um actually yes, I will take the temporal boots. Yeah, sure, I will take the trap card. Next. Can you tell I also like to play wizard? Ooh. Spades ace. I'm not the first player. Eee. Two off trump aces is rough. Let's say one. Oh, we bid exactly five. This may work. Uh, okay, six in the met. Ooh, do that. Next. Oh, I guess I get a red tile. It's okay, that's exactly what I needed. Put that one there. Put that one there. Keeper. Next. <gasps> Buttons! Buttons, buttons, buttons. I have three to place. One, two, three. Nice and spread out this game at least. Next. <gasps> Kara, it's your turn at buttons. Oh, right. The head and foot game where I've screwed myself over. Because I don't have a wild melt yet. I'm going to need seven jokers before I can go out. Uh, play the jack there. Discard the eight. Done. Ah, the head and foot game where I have not yet screwed myself over. Hey! 
actual wild cards. I'm going to be smart, do the wild meld early. Uh, there's an ace that goes there. And that's all I've got because I need three to be able to play them to the table. Next. Ah oh, yes, off brand uno. The legally distinct, we can't call it Uno Uno. Those. <laughs> this is definitely one of those games that's a lot more fun with many more players, but it'll work with three. Aha! Ooh, a wild card. I love those. Let's put that buddy there. Next. Ooh, Codex. Oh, the brand new Codex game. Okay. I want animals. That one there. Confirm. What else do I want? You know what? Sure. We'll take some butterflies. Next. Jeez. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, middle's always a good bet. Sure. Confirm. Next. Carcassonne. In which, as usual, Theos kicks all our butts. Yep. Good lord, look at that. 122 to 33. I was not playing optimally this game. I mean, it's Carcassonne. I never play optimally. But even less so than usual. Ah, let's put those there. playing Scrabble. Yeah, Carcassonne is definitely one of those games where it's like, I don't pay attention to the scoring. I don't even really care about the scoring. I don't think I've ever won a game. I just kind of play it. <laughs> uh, Railways of the World. I actually feel like I'm understanding this game now, which is a treat. How much? It's 15 k to improve my engine, eh? And I don't have any cards that would help. No, I don't. Okay. So let's do a delivery. I have four. One, two. Yeah, that'll work. Because the further you can make a delivery, the more points it scores. So you want to earn enough points to improve your engine so that you can make longer deliveries and then make long deliveries so that you can score more, more points so that you can earn more money, etc. And now I actually kind of understand what I'm doing. Yeah, trying to take on as little debt as possible because then debt Essentially, debt counts as negative points later. It's not quite that simple, and you usually can't avoid taking on one, but you want to try and take as little as possible. Okay, what are the... This is a brand new game. First player to deliver a, a goods gets a point. First player to make a three-link delivery gets three points four different colors. Okay, Louisville. And first delivery to Louisville and first delivery to Mobile. Both get 
Oh, and then also Toronto and Duluth. Okay. Okay. Did I have a plan? I don't think I had a plan. Because this is the one that just started. I don't think I had a plan yet. Oh, right, we have to start in the east. Okay. Well. Let's do this. The transcon game is going to be interesting. Yes, uh, Kite and Rin and I are already playing on this board. It is really interesting. It's essentially two full games back to back. Because you play the eastern side and then you immediately start playing the western side with all of your assets and everything else. It's very interesting. Kite is crushing us, but Kite is usually crushing us. Kite is very good at that game. Ooh. Uh... You know what? Yes, I will stop and score. And burp. Stop and score and burp. Okay, yeah, see, this is what a talk game looks like when you have a few more players. Aw, oh, man! Somebody sat on me. I was so close. I had my fourth pawn, like, right here, and they jumped me and sent me back to start. Gosh darn it. Nom? Oh, okay. Dobby's been nommed, not me. That's fine. I will try to avenge you, Dobby. I probably won't catch up in time, but we will see. Oh, that's Tranquility. That might be it. I think that's it. It is taking long enough to load. I... Yep, that's it. Tranquility is the last one. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now that the boards have been played and the charity has been shouted and the charm has been shown off, let's attempt to get our eighth badge. The lead... The levels on the gym leader or on the gym trainers haven't been terrible, so maybe we'll get through this. It's not often, but some trainers manage to come and challenge me. But they've all been boring battles. I didn't break a sweat beating them. <sighs> I'm Bulkner, the gym leader. They say I'm the top gym leader in Sino, but anyway, I guess we'd better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who will make me remember how fun it is to battle. I mean, it's kind of why I was sent here. Oh no. Alright. Oh, it's only level 46. It's gonna one-shot a Stinian. Paralyze it, or do I just try to get off an aerial ace and do big damage? We just try. Oh, it outspeeds me? Bye, Astinian. Oh, nice. Well done. 
Astinian, look at that. Astinian actually survived a hit. And he took out the hair across. Oh, look, he's finally growing up. Good boy, Astinian. Infernape. Uh... Am I going to be faster than the Infernape? Probably not. Oh, I did not mean to hit that button. But let's just go for it. Oh, okay, that works. Probably not gonna one-shot it, but... Nope, not quite. Can we do that again? Dang! Good job, Astinian. Alright, I'll take it. Hair across. Now we're gonna switch Pokemon. Uh, to what is a very good question. Damage should at least be neutral effective. Oh god, it's level 50. Alright, well see how well we survive this. Asahi has decent defense? Okay, yeah. Okay, not bad. And then Fire Punch. Not quite. Okay. A full restore, of course. That's alright. This is a chance for a burn. Or a crit. Either one. Neither one. Takedown will do recoil though. The squares are taunting you? Oh no. Yuck, please, rest the wrist. she missed. Come on. Oh, this might take her out, though. But she's already damaged. Dang it. Drat, drat, drat. I am not going to be faster than this. Okay, reversal is... Fine. Okay, so Lahabri is our tank. Breloom. Okay. Not what I was expecting for his last Pokemon, but alright. Uh... in it. Of course it crits. And of course it... Of course it... Come on. Okay, there we go. There we go. We did it first try. Excellent. Good job, team. Hee hee hee. Ha 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 ha. That was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is your eighth gym badge. You've earned this. Yeah. Look at that, our 8th gym badge. Beacon badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall even when you're not in battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you've collected all 8 badges, any Pokemon at any level will now obey you without fail. I want you to take this too. 
TM57. Uh, Blaze Kick. Oh, so it probably actually is Blaze Kick, because I think it changes it in dialogue. It is Blaze Kick. Can anyone learn that? No. Oh, Kara can! Oh god, guys, do we teach our Wigglytuff Blaze Kick? I think we do. I was gonna collect some shards and teach her Zen Headbutt, but I think we teach her Blaze Kick. Okay, what's the actual stats on that? Power 85, Accuracy 90. Good lord, yes please. I'm thinking we replace Body Slam. Because Hyper Fang is high damage and Sweet Kiss has been surprisingly useful. So even though... Even though Body Slam has the Paralysis chance... Blaze Kick has a burn chance, so... Alright, let's do another save with Gym Badge 8. And I can actually just... Let it go. I can just now turn the shadows off. No more cropping for us. All right. Uh, well, we've got about 15 minutes left. We can start making our way toward the Pokemon League. After we go heal everybody. And figure out where to get Waterfall, because I don't think I actually have that TM yet, or HM I suppose. Does it just get given to you after Gym Badge 8? I don't remember. Stidian's the strongest in our party for once. And so close to the evolution. Six levels. Six more levels. And then we get a big old strong Nidhogg. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think Jasmine gives us the TM. Hey, SJ! What the? You went and got all eight gym badges of Sino? No, you? That's wicked. I envy you. But don't think you've won. Because I'm going to be the toughest trainer ever. You watch me. Before, I was dreaming. I just wanted to be like my dad. Now, things are different. Thought about what being a trainer involves. Thought about what Pokemon are. We're going to get tougher one step at a time. I'm not going to challenge you to a battle now. Hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me. But not a whole lot longer, just a little. Or, but not a whole lot tougher, just a little. Our difference is about a yard? Nah, not even an inch. What I'm trying to say is that I will catch up to you in no time. If you don't hurry to the Pokemon League, I'll leave you in my wake. Is that your friend? Oh lord, what a loaded question. Seeing how you two got along made me happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. 
person that you can share anything and everything with. A person you can compete with without fighting. Mm, it made me feel sort of warm seeing the two. It may seem odd, but I'd like you to have this as my thanks. This isn't much, but... Oh, I thought so. Waterfall. That hidden machine. It contains Waterfall. If you use it, you can get to the Pokemon League. Mm, I... I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. Aw, thank you, Jasmine. Okay. I wonder... I hope Teleji can learn this. He can! Oh, and so can Astinian! Ooh! Waterfall instead of Aqua Tail might be good. Aqua Tail is 90 and 90. Waterfall is 80 and 100. Okay. What about... Brine is special. Brian also has that fun thing of if the Pokemon's already hurt, it'll do extra power. So I think we teach... I think we teach Waterfall to Astinian in the place of Aqua Tail. trainers along this route. Oh, and it's a new route, so I can catch something. Hey! Random hidden item. There is text engraved on the back of the obtained plate. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. Oh, I hate when the pleather starts to fake flake. It's the worst. That's what our couch is. And like bits of it are cracked to the point of torn open. I'm determined to go to the Pokemon League, no matter how hard it is. Oh my. Yeah, we're we're getting in the arena now where the even like the random trainer Pokemon are gonna start being real tough. Okay, let's... Okay, she just had the one. That would be why. Excuse me for wearing my bikini. Sure. If you say so. Oh goodness. defense dragon, huh?
There we go. I mean, the poison is doing its job. Here we go. Get me a little bit of health back. Amazing. I never even hit it. It was strictly the poison damage and leech seed. Dinner is ready? Ooh. I'm excited for dinner. Firebuck. Fish, fish, fish. Yes, yes. down for eating a Namazu once. My philosophy is I'll try anything once. At least when it comes to food. With the exception of eyeballs. not aware they could swim in open water. That's terrifying. That is genuinely terrifying. Can you imagine just surfing along on the back of your fur alligator and you see like a little brown like lump in the water and you figure like oh it's just like it's a basking kabuto or something no it's the top of a mammoth slime i trained at a pokemon gym too don't think you're going to win easily doing a similar thing to reindeer yeah my problem with the idea of swimming mammoth swine, though, is that they've got the snout in the front. Like, they'd have to be swimming, like, vertically to be able to still breathe. They don't exactly have a neck where they can just, like, hold their head up out of the water, you know what I mean? Ah! The unknown has levitate. Hidden power, super effective, but not doing much. That's fine. I'll just throw some rocks at it. Geo dude. Yeah, it's fine. Sviper. Sviper, no sviping. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, crunch. That's cheating. Do wish I'd come across a TM for like Psychic or Psy Wave or something slightly more powerful than Confusion. That's a dead end. Also, I feel like... Well, no, the tusks are ivory. Does ivory float? I don't actually know. I don't remember what the density of it is. I presume it does not. But I don't know how much it would be actively weighting the mammoth swine down either. To swim every sea there is, that's my dream. Deep breathing before battle. Breathe in and out. Elephants are competent swimmers. Yeah, but again, they can like keep their trunk up out of the water. The mammoth swine has a tiny little snoot that's like way down low on its body. That's my main concern is the poor thing like being able to breathe. Uh... There we go. Oh, pin missile is rude. Extremely rude. Taken out by a spinnerack. Google is not telling you whether. But Google knows everything! How can Google just not tell you? That doesn't seem right. Ivory soap does. Yes, definitely the same thing. Same, totally exact same consistency. Execute would have learned Psychic at level 47. Dang it. Well, that's fine. Okay, time for our new and improved Wigglytuff. Yes. Just imagine a Wigglytuff flying through the air like Miss Piggy going, Hi! Ooh, that's a neat trick. Yes, I taught Wigglytuff Blaze Kick. Must have been while you were away making dinner. The uh, the TM that Volkner gave me was Blaze Kick, and whatever it was originally, Wigglytuff can learn it. Actually, yes, let's take out the primate. I did give Kara fire. Why? Because otherwise all she had was normal type attacks. Okay, so Ivory does not float in water. Thank you, friends! We have all learned a thing. Will not float. Okay. Will not float, but is it like... Is it gonna drag the mammoth swine actively downward, or is it just kind of a... It's a neutral thing? Like, how does that compare to, like, rock density? I realize I am asking much, and you have probably closed the tabs. That is fine. Uh, I want to say 57. At 1.8 it would sink, and that's roughly two times of water. Okay, so Mammoth Swine, probably not great swimmers, actually, considering how massive those tusks are. The 
the animal it's attached to is surely more than strong enough to counteract. I, that's true too. Make boats out of steel. That would have been charge beam. Okay, yeah, that makes sense why uh, why Wigglytuff would be learning it then. Well, now she knows Blaze Kick, so there. Hyper Fang Wigglytuff, or Hyper Fang uh, Blaze Kick Wigglytuff is the bomb, and I love her. Here we go. Should be all of it. There we go. Aw, Kara loves me too. I'm glad. Okay, I was hoping to at least reach land, but I don't believe we will. So, I will save my game. Buoyancy is basically a matter of effective density. But if it's a steel shell around a lot of air, the air reduces the average density. That makes sense. Ivory is comparable to the low end of clay or chalk. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Well, thank you, friends. Thank you for coming and hanging out, playing board games, googling things for me. Surprise and su surprise, surprise, it's about similar to bone. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I didn't... Because, like, I know ivory is very similar to bone as far as, like, how it's composed and everything. I just wasn't sure about the actual, like, density. Interesting. Yeah, good morning. Um, so no stream on Sunday. I will be out in the woods, probably extremely hungover from a bachelorette party. Uh, yes, ivory is teeth. That's true. That's true, and teeth do not float. I should have guessed that. Teeth. Um, but yeah, I'll be back next Tuesday doing crochet since Yalk uh, paid channel points to make me crochet. So I'll be doing that next week. Um, in the meantime, everyone stay safe, stay healthy. Yalk, go ice your wrist. Take it easy tonight. Um... And I will send you toward ducks, because that's all that's up at the moment. So yeah, everybody have yourselves a good night, a good week, or a good rest of the week and a good weekend, and I will see you next Tuesday.